Hey there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault and welcome to another episode of Dinopedia. Today I'll be talking about fuel injection system, the pros and cons and almost everything you need to know about it. You can watch the rest of my Dinopedia videos by following the link appearing right up here. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. So what is fuel injection? Now the engine of a bike has to be provided with precise air fuel mixture for optimum combustion efficiency. So if the mixture isn't precise, things may lead to improper or unstable performance with varying riding conditions. Now when it comes to mixtures, we get a lean mix and we get a rich mix. When the fuel to air mix is on the higher side, it's called a rich mixture and this brings out maximum performance while minimizing efficiency. But when the mix is on the lower side, then it is called a lean mix and this brings out the highest efficiency while compromising on performance. Now this has to be manually adjusted on a carburetor, but in case of a fuel injection unit, this is taken care of automatically because things are electronically controlled by an ECU or electronic control unit. Now this this adjusts and ensures a precise air fuel mixture all across the rev range according to the riding conditions, thereby ensuring consistent and uncompromised performance. So what are the advantages that an FI system offers compared to a carbureted engine? First of all, the FI system ensures cleaner and complete combustion. In case of a carburetor, all of the fuel isn't burnt completely, so some of it escapes into the air. But in case of FI units, the exact amount of fuel that is required is injected, which ensures that the fuel burns completely and cleanly. Now this helps utilize every drop of fuel, thereby optimizing fuel efficiency and also reducing overall emissions. Secondly, the engine response is a lot more peppier in case of FI engines compared to carbureted engines because the fuel is precise. Now this ensures that the throttle response is more instant and immediate without any latency whatsoever. Now other advantages include consistent power delivery, better refinement and better cold startability. Now there are also some disadvantages to an FI system. First of all, bikes featuring FI technology are more expensive to buy. Secondly, they are also expensive to maintain. Thirdly, FI engines require at least 1.5 to 2 liters of fuel to always be present in the tank to ensure smooth functioning of the system. So if you continue to ride with lower fuel level, it may lead to the fuel injectors getting spoiled, which might set you back by thousands of rupees. Now overall, I feel keeping in line with the digital age that we find ourselves in currently is always good. Therefore, embracing the latest technology which ensures a cleaner environment, better performance and also better fuel efficiency is always better, which is what FI systems have on offer. Well, that's about it for now. I just hope you got to learn something new from this Dinopedia video. Please do share the video around because it really helps the channel and stay tuned to more action right here at Dino's Vault.